empty, open it. There we go. Now, you hit start. It's going to go through them. There's the percentage. And there it is. This one actually worked. Um, here's the hash of the password. Plain text of password is password. That was the password for my other user. I uh, don't feel like proving it to you, but that is it. And that is what it looks like if you crack it. Some, like I said, sometimes it's not going to be there. Sometimes it is. Okay. The other thing is crypto analysis. That is <sighs> rainbow tables. It has a lot to do with math and honestly it's really hard to find a good rainbow table online. Um, uh, I found some good ones but you gotta pay for them so if you find a free one let us all know please. Uh, you get uh, whether it's off crack or rainbow crack uh, here you add a table um, it's an RT file so anyway if you find some free ones I'll upload them find, put them somewhere let us all know um, okay that's how you use can enable another thing um, let's say you want to try this at school or at work and uh, you you are you don't have enough rights to install Cane Enable or download something from the internet. That is okay. You go to uh, your home computer and you install Cane Enable on your home computer. Then you go to the System 32 folder, which is C. Windows System 32 and you look for packet.dll and wpcap.dll okay and after that you don't you put these on a flash drive you copy you go to uh, System 32 you find these two DLL files then you go to C program files and you copy the cane folder you copy that into your uh, flash drive after copying that into your flash drive all you have to do when you get to work or school is copy those two DLL files into the system32 folders and then run the cane.exe and it'll work. See oxid.it, that's the website you get it from. And there it is. All you have to do is copy those two files in the system32 folder. Okay, last thing. Give me a minute while I restart this. Okay, no, no, I have to show you guys this. Ones. Okay, here we go. Uh, the last thing I can show you for cracking local passwords is this sweet, awesome thing called Backtrack. Backtrack, it's a Linux distro, and uh, here's the website backtrack linux.org forward slash downloads. And it's a CD that lets you boot off of it. And it has pretty much every single hacking program like ever well, uh, that they've made Linux, a Linux version for. And honestly, it's just amazing. It, it lets you do so many things. And if you really want to be a hacker, a, um, I would suggest getting like the virtual machine version right here or at least get the ISO and get an ISO burner and put it in a CD. Anyway, I'll show you to use a uh, special little part of it right here. Anyway, this is a virtual machine again and I told it to use the backtrack ISO as a drive right here. BT4. 
Um, okay, let me show you what you can do first. First, you're going to need to restart the computer. Yeah, I want to restart it. Okay, now on a real computer, you pop out the disk drive, you put in the Backtrack 4 CD, and shut it, restart it, and usually you don't need to press anything. Backtrack is just really awesome that way, and it'll come up with this. See, this is still the computer. And look, uh, Backtrack 4. Persistent Live CD is... Uh, usually all of these work, but I always do Persistent Live CD. Um, hit Enter. And that'll come up before anything does. You put the CD in, restart the computer, and that little menu should come up. And it'll go through all this stuff. Uh, you can try all the little different options. Sometimes the fr the one that said frame buffer works better. Um, sometimes just different ones work. Some do, some don't. And sometimes you might even have to start pressing like escape or F8 or F10 or F11 or F12 for boot options depending on what computer you have. And just wait till it all loads. And okay, this is what it looks like when it loads. It's gonna have a little shell prompt. Uh, you see, you can type whatever here. Um, you can pretty much do every anything you need, just about from the from just just if you can know different the different commands. But if you want to see the actual uh, interface. The graphic user interface. Do start X. Hit enter. And it'll boot the here we go. It'll start doing that. Um if it ever asks you for a password the password, the username is root, R-O-O-T, and the password is T-O-O-R, root backwards. So, uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I remember the first time I downloaded it, it asked me. And it's going to play cool little music. Okay. Uh, there's so many things to explain here. Honestly, look up some tutorials. There's some tutorials about Backtrack on YouTube. It's got a ton of different um, programs already installed here. Uh, we're just going to use one of these. Uh, right now, let's go to System Menu.